power flashes and one tiny cube. Without changing bulbs. In color, of course. If you're old enough to have ever taken a photograph before digital cameras came along, chances are you've used a Kodak film. But now, after a long struggle, the 130-year-old company based in Rochester, New York, has filed for bankruptcy protection. Its CEO said, The board of directors and the entire senior management team unanimously believe that this is a necessary step and the right thing to do for the future of Kodak. The company has secured a $950 million credit line over 18 months to keep it going while it restructures. The loan and bankruptcy protection from trade creditors may give Kodak the time it needs to find buyers for some of its 1,100 digital patents, the key to its remaining value. But its $7 billion of liabilities exceed the $5 billion it has in assets, and it's now looking likely that Kodak won't survive in its current form. Robert Shanebrook, author of Making Kodak Film and a 35-year company veteran, says it was a close colleague named Steve Sasson who pioneered digital camera technology for Kodak in the 1970s. They looked at it and said, Steve, that's very interesting. You've done a fine job here. and We have something else for you to work on next. And it was basically put away for a number of years. Kodak failed to ride the digital wave and analysts have criticized it for not being as flexible as its closest competitor, Fujifilm, in adapting to the realities of the 21st century. For years, the company's advertisements urged people to seize the Kodak moment to capture memories. Now it looks like Kodak has let its moment pass it by. Azhar Sukri, Al Jazeera.